It's time for Shows My Girlfriend Makes Me Watch, The O.C. It's episode 7, or the one where Marissa nosedives off the deep end when the kids go to Mexico. This episode is full of important lessons for teens like lying to your parents. We have a perfect alibi as I go to this comic book convention every year. And we also have my entire life of never doing anything wrong, which completely lulls my parents into a false sense of trust. How to get drugs. Oh, just let me run into the pharmacy. You can get whatever you want without a prescription. And if sex sucks the first time around, keep doing it. It was a letdown, right? Kinda hurt. Totally awkward. Well, it's not like I have anything to compare it to. Get back on that horse. While the kids pile into an SUV full of awkwardness and sexual tension, Sandy considers taking a new job with a flirty former co-worker, and Kirsten will get into her sexiest outfit to help Jimmy paint his new divorcee apartment. Whoops, didn't see that coming. This episode will leave you with questions like, is that a set? Is this actually Mexico? I love authentic Mexican culture. And why the hell is Seth in love with Summer? Comic books? Ew. I'm so dehydrated. What is up with the AC? My hair is freezing out. I look like Howard Stern. You're Jewish. Do we have to pay extra for the pubes? She's hot stuff, son. And now it's real. When Marissa mixes two parts parents getting a divorce, one part mixed emotions about having sex with the wrong guy, and one part cheating boyfriend making out with a girl whose dad punched her dad in the face, she'll top it all off with pills and tequila to make the perfect spring break cocktail. Passing out in a random alley in Mexico. Good thing Tijuana is the size of a soundstage. Will Sandy ever find out about that kiss? Will Ryan ever learn Spanish? And did they just leave the car on the side of the road? I mean, seriously, how are they getting back to America? Find out next time on Shows My Girlfriend Makes Me Watch. I mean, my spring break was pretty much just like that. Except I was at Disney World. And we got kicked out for underage drinking at Temptation Island. Damn it, I should have gone to Mexico.